Okay, we're gonna go over two replays right now, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for being here. I'm gonna call Dimmy. Hello. Hello. Hello and well met. Um, can you see my screen? Yes. Excellent. Welcome. Who are you? What do you do? Give all the information, uh, aside from your social insurance number, to to my channel. We want to hear about it. What rank are you? All that jazz. Okay. So my name's Dimmy, and I am Silver. Um, this is my very first ranked season, so hopefully I won't be Silver forever. Love to hear it. Okay. So what do we got here in this replay? Let me know. Um, so I have been playing a lot of Lily because Crosby told me to, um, because she's quite good at my rank apparently. And I have been having a lot of success with her, but this game was like a clown fiesta. So I, no one was talking in voice chat and everybody was in there except for one person. And so I attempted to shot call for the first time in my entire life. And I think I made a bunch of bad calls and the adventurous little panda adventured too far at one point, which is <laughs> awful. All right. Okay. Holy cow, the volume is so loud. Okay. Lily it is. I don't think we've ever gone over a Lily game, so this should be fun. What is this? It's a lot of meat on one team. Uh, so, a couple things to note real quick. One, you your team has the better race because you have Vol. As long as she plays it the match properly and um, goes Q build. But Diablo basically does nothing. Gul'dan is kind of spell rotation based. Kerrigan actually can race decently, but Johanna brings pretty much nothing. Uh, their off lane is what? Kerrigan? Or Diablo? or Johanna? Like I, It's one of Kerrigan, Johanna... Or Diablo, probably Johanna or Kerrigan, honestly. But that's really weird. Or I guess Diablo or Kerrigan, I actually don't know. Um, but if I were playing Lily entering into this game, the mentality I'd have is just play the lane, don't look for kills. The only thing that they can really do is try to get kills on you. That, that's really it. They've got the Kerrigan combo, they've got Johanna and uh, um, Diablo. Like, yeah. That's the one thing that's scary. Okay, so they're sending two up top. Wait till you see who goes up top for us. <laughs> see, it should be Tyrael. Both of them go up. Tyrael and ETC. Yep. What do you <laughs> and mean? And so that's... <laughs> so basically that's when I was like, okay, oh. I actually have to say something in voice because I was like, oh, uh... Could someone come down the bottom? I think <laughs> I think my uh, my UI is broken. It says that Vol is level one talents hot pursuit. I have to I might have to reload here. <laughs> I think something's broken on my end. Yes, I know. Okay, so right out of the gates, I would be I would definitely be pulling down one of my warriors, like in comms, typing it out to them, sending them a letter in the mail, just letting them know like this is unacceptable sort of thing. They shouldn't be too top. Um that's pretty crazy. I, uh... So just... So basically the three of us, we were like down the bottom and I'm like looking at the top lane and then looking at my lane and then I, you'll see, I do actually say, ETC, can you please come down? And he, he does what I ask him to do and then I was like, I have the power and it all goes downhill from there. Okay. Um, okay, so one thing right here, and this is just how you have to play against Kerrigan. The fact that she's rotating in, she's not showing top lane, so you do have to be cautious. But this is the big thing. Whenever you're playing against her, um, especially in your rank, and it's not, I'm not trying to be mean or anything towards Kerrigan players in, in silver, but they will do this. They will straight jump on you with Q and then combo you right away. So literally, as this comes in, walk this way. Okay. Walk this way or even this way, and you are super fine. She doesn't combo you. As soon as the combo comes in, it has to be like muscle memory where you move this way. Because you you move in the basic direction this way, right off of it. And she stuns you actually without even using her combo. Properly. 
Um, and that'll get you... No, you're just gonna run away from this one. You don't even die here. Yep. <laughs> Better team will kill you, but just so you know, like that that's how you dodge that literally every time against Kerrigans in this rank. Okay, noted. I really wish that the observer UI weren't broken. I can't see anything. Okay, there we go. Uh, I don't know a whole lot about Lily, honestly, but I thought that free drinks was the... Tank. Crosby told me to pick that one, so I did what Crosby said. Did he? Okay, let me check something. So... <laughs> Crosby, do you want to speak up here in chat? I don't see a lot of Lily. I thought free drinks was like 100% of the time. and We're saying Wind Serpent's the best. I, I still think that it's free drinks. Healing Bruce cooldown is reduced by one second and its mana cost is refunded if it heals a hero under 50% health. Eager Yeah, that's that's what I always picked until Crosby told me to do the trait one and I assume that it's just to make me speedier for longer. So Honestly, none of them are bad, so that's that's a nice thing, but I, I personally think free drinks better. Oh, there we go. Can this be avoided as well? I think you walk into this combo. Nah. Sounds like something I would do though. <laughs> a, little, a little bit, but she's blinded. She gets no auto attack value in it. And same thing here. I, I just want to see you stepping away and dodging more things as soon as you see. And this requires fast mechanics, but it's something you can be um, just aware of. Knowing that their only range damage onto you really is corruption. You're not in range of... Um, you're not in range of anything else that's really scary aside from Kerrigan combo and the um, damage from corruption. See the combo come in. You should stay in this area because then you don't get comboed at all. First problem. The second problem is as soon as you see this, like move up. Oh, I guess she's kind of body blocking you. You try there at the end, so still not the worst thing. And you guys get the trade kill. Never mind. I thought that was worse than it actually is. Uh, mount up. There we go. Oh, nice. As if on cue. Oh, yeah, but you'll see me run a lot, and I know it's something that I've noticed from watching replays. It's like, why haven't I mounted up for that? Like, why did I just run those 10 miles? Yeah. You know? Wait, aren't... Don't you do kilometers? Well, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Jesus. Whenever I get to talk to somebody who uses kilometers, I gotta do it. Oh, do you get a bit excited? Yeah. yeah okay, that's that's fair. Everyone's American. Okay. Um, Lily anchoring feels good, but here like you're missing auto attacks right there all the way up until there And th there could be one or two here, and I know it doesn't make a big deal here, but You gotta you gotta be stutter stepping with this hero Because you can basically just hold down Q and integrate stutter stepping into your play style with Lily So like right here even you have a lot of room to operate over on this side because you're just standing and auto attacking right here but you can be kiting up this way to make sure that you're always getting... If you kite up here while auto-attacking, if for some reason this Diablo lives, your auto-attacks are still hitting him while he's over here. Okay. But if you're still standing here, like it's harder to chase in. But absolutely move in with the pace of the fight. Or even down here. He has nothing left, so you can move in this way. You can auto-attack there. You can start auto-attacking the um, Alex Straza as well. But just, yeah, moving in right here. Because right now you're just wasting um, space in this fight by standing still. Again, it doesn't change anything in this specific play. But this these are the sort of things that will get you better in the long term. Step one of playing Lili. Pick a different hero. Kappa? No way. Lili is actually... She's good. I have like a 70% win rate in the hero league with Lili. Yeah, she's actually really good. Especially at lower ranks. You're just backing for mana here. So your team didn't get on the camp, which kind of sucks, but... They also like... No, like, oh, I, I kept asking them to, and sometimes we would take um, camps, and then sometimes we weren't fast enough, and then I felt like with some of my calls of we should take camps... Uh, it wasn't done fast enough and I don't know. I was confused a lot about the camps in this match. So the best play to do it, I'll back up a bit, or the best time to do it would be right. So before you back, 
Uh, before you back, what's Gina's mana at? If you're calling in this, like even that amount of mana, that's perfectly fine. Does she have tap? Where are you? Seven. No, she doesn't. But she can come and use a rotation of spells, and you can call it Vala as well. You guys start your camp right away. Like you should already be on your way there. You grab this globe maybe on the route if you want. But start the camp, um, and then you have tap up. So if you're really that worried about your mana pool, then just tap and join the fight. Because it's really important to have this camp running. Okay. You guys get bottom camp, so at least you have something, but yeah, golden. Yeah, I called clear. for that bottom camp because um, basically because we were already there. So, you know, I thought with we had quite a few of us there, I thought we'd get it done faster. Is this team league, did you say? No, hero okay, league. Hero league. Oh man, got raw stunned and then Oh boy, that was, that sucked. Okay, not much you can do about that one. Jaina just kind of walked in and got uh, destroyed. These Kerrigan combos are funny. Yeah, I, they're not real combos, folks. If you're new to Kerrigan, that's not how your combo is supposed to work. Yeah, we've got auto attack Vala. Yep, here, I, I mean, it's either you call for someone to clear bottom um, or just push in and see if you can race as much as you can. But defending is, yeah, that would have been 10 times better. The problem is, is if you all rotate up and defend, then they just push bottom with their camp. Assuming that these silver teams know how to rotate properly, but I, I actually think it would have just been better for you guys. As soon as that Jaina dies, just go and defend. Sometimes it feels a little bit like herding cats. Do you know what I mean? Like, oh, say something, we should go do this. And then like one person will be like, yeah, let's go do that. And then the rest kind of dither or then go do something else. And I'm like, ah. Herding cats. Yes, I um, have ample experience. So you'd think I'd be better at this, but alas. What do you think is like the response? response rate when you make calls is um definitely it depends on the game in this game i can't remember because it was a couple of weeks ago but i played one a couple of days ago and i was making calls and they were being answered like responded to instantly so people were instantly going to do what i said or pinged or whatever yeah. which is nice see this is one of those situations where you should stay like here back here yeah getting cc'd and stuff like that is good for you taking damage is good for your cooldowns but stepping up this far is too far you should still be back here you're not a front line so you got to be cautious about that kind of positioning here much better but operate back here because you can still heal everyone from back here and you just put yourself into a situation where you got stunned by the immortal you should be back here just auto attacking their front line here you're pretty low <clears throat> but auto attacks should constantly be going on to this kerrigan here so auto attack auto attack Auto attack, only one when it should have been three. Auto attack, auto she actually would have died. That's enough health to kill her, I believe, from okay. three additional Lily auto attacks, I think. I can't tell, but does she lose any more health? No. Yep, yeah, I absolutely would have died. Without a question. Or without question. And same here, like operate a little bit further. Because you don't have to be this far up. Because, uh, like, right there, if he had cooldowns, he could flip you over and then queue you back over here. And I know, you're like, you're not too scary, but... Or you're not too scared by that situation because they're all extremely low. But we saw it happen down here where you're pushed up a little bit too far. You're pushed up too far here. So, so far, positioning has been a problem. That's something you can work on. It'll be super easy to fix. Nice ooh. The Liliatos are real. You guys will lose this one. Oh boy. I feel like a good chunk of coaching sessions involve auto attack more. Almost every single replay I've ever done with anyone, they don't auto attack enough. I definitely think I don't auto attack enough with Lily. Like I've I've actually noticed that I don't do it. Which is a big problem. As soon as you fix that, your effectiveness as any hero if oh gosh, why are so many people walking into stuns? 
It's very, very important to be auto-attacking. Yeah, this is much better position. Get out of the stun. Nice ooh. Actually, sometimes it's like calculated to walk into stuns with really. Okay. Wait, was she out of range of your Q? I can't tell. Yeah, if you follow down here and you mash your Q, it gets one heal. It's another heal. Oh, okay, she gets the one. And, uh, oh, we didn't have blind up yet. She got one. I think she actually just dies. It's close. I'm pretty sure the Jaina was the only one not on comms, too. Ah. It would have been good to follow her, so maybe just try to pay a little bit closer attention to what's happening in the fight instead of just... I mean, there's a lot going on here. <laughs> the Immortals pushing in. Jaina just, like, steps up and gets free traded on. You don't know Kerrigan's there, so you would have had to just, like, anticipate it. So I can't really blame you for that one. You were probably in the mindset where it's like, oh, she's just going to back because she has 5% HP. Yeah, well, I saw her get away, I think, and I saw that she had kind of enough health to get her back you know what i mean and then she turned around and came back to the fight and then i think i was like Ugh! and then she died so feels bad yeah that does feel bad uh why the good stuff over let's go is it just mechanically are you uncomfortable cleansing um i'm not super great at cleansing i have been trying to take it where i can or i feel like i'm working on it basically okay. and I, it's a constant refrain, but Crosby told me to take the good stuff. <laughs> okay. that I mean, that's fine. If you're in this rank and you're uncomfortable mechanically uh, cleansing your allies, then that makes sense. But this is the situation where you'd want it. Look at this engage that this team has. Diablo engage, um, Horrify at level 10, I hope to God, um, Blessed Shield, and the Kerrigan combo. I know Kerrigan hasn't been using the combo properly, but... If there's ever like a Kerrigan comp, like taking cleanse is so good. But I can't really blame you for this choice either. The build you're going is like high effectiveness, uh, new player friendly. Well, not even new player, but just like it's very mechanically simple to pull off. And it's, yeah, high, That's highly effective. Been, yeah, it's super important for me. I have not played a whole lot of video games in my life, so I don't have any kind of inherent... Oh you know kind of you know what the things that you pick up if you've been playing games of any type for, yeah. for a while so i've been playing hots for a year but this is like my first rank season so still very new and kind of learning maybe some of that stuff that's like really basic yeah so here do this in your future games even if it's a free camp if you think it's a free camp practice your stutter stepping on these camps just like auto attack here, move, auto attack, move, auto attack, move, auto attack, move, auto attack, move. Just constantly. Because right now, you could be using this 10 seconds to practice your mechanics. And you need it at any opportunity that you can find it. I know it may sound trivial, but I'm telling you. Like, if you, any opportunity where you get to practice it. No, it doesn't sound trivial at all. Yeah. Even on minion waves. Oh shit. Whoops, I can't say that. Okay, they're level 10. We gotta be careful about grouping up. Ah. So you took a little bit of time to lock in jugs. I don't know if I would have saved them because you could have did it um, as soon as like the Kerrigan combo went out, but okay, here we go. I felt like when we were pulling it together, we were doing really well. So especially because I felt like the Kerrigan and the Alex particularly were putting themselves in kind of easy spots for us to get to. Yeah. So I thought that we should have done better in this game than we did. Holy crap, that APOC. Just kill your enemy. Um, so objective up, obviously you guys go and start it now. 
walk this way. This way and walk around because uh, you're not going to okay. be able to get through this fight because of how body blocked you'll be by your allies. That's why it gets that huge combo. Holy cow. Yeah, right now, pull out the jugs. You absolutely... Yeah, okay, yeah. Even sooner. Just like use it as an oh crap button. Oh my gosh. And, and this choke is so scary. Oh god, no. We're all dead. Uh, you could have prevented a lot of that by kiting up this way and fighting on the backside, but honestly, it's again just our teams fighting in this choke area against a Diablo, against a Kerrigan, against like this hero benefits from chokes, this hero benefits from chokes, this hero benefits from chokes, same with this one and this one. Literally every single one of them. Jaina does, but the rest of our team operates well in um, more open areas. Why did ETC run back in? I'm not sure. Oh, that's probably a rhetorical question. Okay. Benefits from jokes. I love chat. <laughs> Is Chatsu being lewd? Yes. Benefits from jokes, gachy guess. Don't we all? Stop that. All of you. Okay, here we go. Mojo Jinov Senjin? Thank you for the sub. Mojo Jinov Senjin. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, this is standard. Uh, off the kill, I would have told Vala to go and race. And then you guys just defend. These are things that are hard to accomplish. Though, like... If you're ever in a situation like this, I'm telling you, like... You gotta try to get your Vala to go and race or do something. Like, you guys are so far behind. Ah. This is unfortunate. I think this is one of those situations where I was telling the Vala to go back and that they were wanting to stay with the team to fight. I presume to get kills or whatever, you know, extra insurance. But, yeah. You don't know anything about silver, Kala. Silver is always brawl, screw objectives. Wait, I literally climbed from silver up to diamond where I am right now on my one account. Yeah, this is tough. Uh, this is a good jugs opportunity as well. Oh no. Yeah, so positioning. Again, I, I actually think positioning is your... Positioning and auto attacks are your two biggest problems right now. So like, you shouldn't be up here. You should be back here. is better you get pulled in that's fine play on uh, in this proximity sit back here use jugs if you guys are looking for like a hard fight and a hard defense you should be back here using your alt your alt is huge but you're just too far up okay you're playing main tank lily so like right now even just you got to pull jugs out like immediately oh there you mean lily is not a tank <laughs> it's a little bit too far up nice Auto attack, can you get her? Yeah, you can, nice. Okay. Cool, get an auto attack up there, it doesn't matter, get the kill. Vala really needs to race, like, these kills don't mean anything. They literally mean nothing. There we go, now she's starting to race. Should've done this a minute and a half ago. Is that Dimmy? It is. The one and only Dimmy goddess. Oh, jeez. Master of the jugs. Oh, did you really just <laughs> W him out of the stun? Did you really do it? Sorry. Sorry. Had a long day. refrain from come not toxic i swear it's just we're seeing so many like crazy things like that you guys 
Okay. Um, you guys are almost 13. It's okay. So it, it's going to be hard for me to comment on strategy, but I can definitely just continue to look at what you're doing mechanically and we'll just go from there. Cause yeah, mainly positioning, you're playing way too far up and just the auto attacking. Is this bronze? This is silver. Okay, Jaina just backed. Why are you top? Like, what? You have a full health immortal. Okay, better positioning. Didn't get feared. Feels good. Good time to use it. Now you should step back in. Watch the stun. Okay, careful about stepping into that stuff. But here you can step in. Try to get a big blind. Where are we at? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Step in and see if we can get that blind. Get the cooldown. Mash that Q. Get in a little bit closer. This is a good time to fight. They're going to be tanking the keep. I actually think... Like, this is one of those moments where you can actually try to bait them to go on you. Even just for a little bit of damage. Getting hit by the... Yeah, so this is good. You got jugs. Move in a little bit here. Just the stun is the problem. Um, it's actually the big problem. Here is where you can move in a little bit because uh, it's going to be tough for you. But moving forward, like in a situation like this, if I am ever the support in this exact scenario, I know that Johanna's top. This is like your only chance at a decent fight. I would be looking. What's the one thing? Okay, I'll just ask you. What is the one thing you're looking at right here that's most important? Do you know? I was looking at my low health teammate. True. That's important. But the nice thing about Lily is you literally just hold your button down Q. And, button down. Yep. And then you just pray. But there's something yep. that's more important and it's these right here. These minions. Okay. So as soon as they die, these heroes start tanking the keep. And they're not 16 yet. Oh. You just got 13. As soon as they die, they start tanking the keep and then they take a lot of damage. So what you actually want to do is bait them to go on you so if you didn't get hit by that stun you use jugs and you move in a little bit and you force diablo to engage you guys win the fight if diablo engages on this you guys straight up win the fight or they have to blow every single heroic to get out and if your team has any follow-up damage you will win this okay but when whenever you're getting dove always think about that whenever you're getting dove under a fort under a keep doesn't matter what it is Consider the health and the status of the en of um, the enemy minion wave because as soon as it's dead, one shot, two shots, Jill, come back in. Look where they're at. Guess who's gonna tank? Dragon mommy. Boom. Bang. Zip. Zap. Boobity bop. Right, but if we moved in earlier and baited them onto you and they came like really deep on this, oh gosh, on this um, keep, it could have even been better. But that is something worth considering and just paying more attention to. Similar okay. situation as top fort. Oh gosh, Chetsu figured it out. forward no oh, no all right objective up in just a moment this is an okay uh, just kidding you guys got to get the freaking heck out of here run let him die run this way don't don't get hit you're gonna walk up aren't you no. It was, <laughs> you're indecisive. So you get I was by, indecisive. Though. But then I go this way. Yeah, that's fine. I don't have a command for the name of the player, but um, yeah, replay is the command for the actual replay. Okay. Even though you guys just lost one, they're going to have to go top at one point. You get the fort off this. This is pretty cool, actually. Yeah, and they're onto it right now. You got a little bit of time to race. But defense is the best call. Oh, we'll judge them under. Oh, that 
Could have actually been really dope, Jugs. You just... Okay. Unfortunately, like... Okay, there you can cancel it. Fall is actually racing a little bit. This is good. Oh, dragon. Yes. Sick. Okay, where are your auto attacks? Auto attacks need to be going in on Kerrigan right now. That was a good Jugs. Way better. Yeah, just mash that Q button. Don't raw stun. Thank you. Yep, this is fine. Up here. Like position up here. Okay, <laughs> fear is going to put you in the good position. Good. Mash the Q. You got the blinds. I'd just be auto attacking her, honestly. It's all that matters. And then just continue to position well. Move with your team. Yeah, keep running. Uh, if you ever get uh, queued like that by Diablo, make sure you stay out of E range. Because there, you just walked into it. Okay. So you had move speed, and he can't E you if he if he doesn't play it mechanically perfect. So he cues you right here. Use he can't E you from here. Use this move your move speed to just stay here. Bait him in. He has nothing. Okay. He has his E, but then watch you like step back in right there, which is free E. Ah, uh, I see. Oh, you juked them so hard. Walk back in. Auto attack. W. Yes. Yes. Okay, here. Okay, we lose a keep and a Jaina. Oh, bodied. You guys definitely lose a keep for this, but... Nice. I was aware that the keep was going down as we were fighting, and I thought that we were probably going to lose it anyway and to try to focus on the objective. You wouldn't have been able to save it, but, and yeah. Yeah, that's honestly, what I thought. That's fine. Sending two, though, or like. I sent one back, but apparently it was a. Everybody had to hey, go. Hey, them fighting you is much better than them being on the objective. Like, this is actually okay. You can sit here forever. They're not going to kill you. So, yeah, you want to keep them in the fight just like this. Run back in. Slow them down. This is your guys' realistic, like, only fight. Um, or not only fight. This is one of your best fights right now. Because for the rest of the game, when you're in silver and you're down a keep, I swear you lose the game. Because they will just not play and you will lose from the catapults. Like, from my experience, that's what happens. So, look, here we go. They're... Okay, he gets this. Nice. They don't have interrupts. Okay, there's the APOC, but it doesn't re Oh, that was unfortunate. Nice. Jug it. Jug it. Yeah. Oh, no. We got it canceled. Okay, so just... You should be a bit... You should be back here more. It's better positioning. Uh, you get stunned up by... Oh, you use it the moment Condemn stuns you. That sucks so bad. Um, but you did use it as the Condemn was showing, so that's something that you can be more cautious of. You, Yeah, you, you just used your ult there when um, the stun was still active. So just be cautious of that stuff. Okay. Always yeah, I sometimes feel like, um, with jugs especially, like I'm always like... A second too late you know what I mean where I should have cast it just a bit earlier and I don't know if it's because it's like oh should I save it do you know what I mean yeah I think you should just uh, be less conservative about it it's okay. not that long of a cooldown uh, and um, <clears throat> excuse me yeah it's really not that bad and it's better like especially in this rank like just save your teammates when you can because yeah there's been a uh, what is it three fights now where i've said you could have used jugs a little bit earlier okay cool now you guys get some you'll want to hold this ah do you want to hold this camp oh no i think oh no <laughs> it... something bad's gonna happen uh-oh I see you in between the dragon mother and their <laughs> tanks, and you're getting Apox to- oh jeez, why do you do these things to me? <laughs> so, Lily's very small, and I just ran in there and assumed that everyone could come in with me, and then the big dragon ass appears. And then I'm suddenly in a really bad neighborhood. This is a bad neighborhood. You can... Oh, no, you can't run it down. 
Oh, no. I was like, I'm sorry. I was like, my bad. In voice comms, it sounded like I was gonna cry. Oh. <laughs> the team didn't even respond, so I was like, "Oh no, I'm the worst player ever." Mosh pit off cooldown in one second. A lot of burst about to come in. Etc looks for the power slide. Starts to back up right now. Actually, doesn't want to commit the ability. Steps back in. He gets stunned up. He's in a lot of trouble. The mosh pit comes up, but the fear to interrupt. Chris Beth on the backside of this fight. So many auto attacks coming through. Veritas so low, and he goes down too. The blue team is absolutely dominating. I thought he was going to get a four-man mosh. I thought he was going to get a four-man mosh. Damn it. Okay, there he... Yeah. Just gotta be careful. Like, you walked into way too many people. <laughs> Yep, because we, I was expecting my entire team to come in behind me, and then they didn't. So I don't know if it was necessarily because I wasn't super clear about what we were going to do, and I just assumed, yeah. you know what I mean? Also, maybe it shouldn't have been me that walked in first. Exactly. But I was small, and I fit through the tight spaces, and uh -oh. I misadventured. He did misadventure, for sure. Um... Regardless of the size of the hero you're playing, though, uh, if you're playing the support, it's almost always wrong to be the one to face check, unless you're like Karazim. Oh, wait, this is scary. Finally, the judgment combo. Holy cow. These Apox are getting insane value. Yeah, just run it in. Nice. Okay, now back up, back up. Go on to the objective. You guys can actually win the game. Bot is four catapults. Three catapults. Yeah, and I don't even know it's happening until now, and then we kind of all, like, panic. Oh, no, it's not that. It's when I see Kerrigan back there that I'm like, ah! Yeah. Okay, uh, everybody backing. Okay, Kerrigan's gonna die then. That's cool. Staggered deaths, that's actually huge. Wait, my uh, headphones just ripped out. Excuse me, just one second. There we go. The demon approaches the gates of Apox, the immortal stuns get insane value. That too, honestly. Everybody top. 39%. That's cool. what I was calling. I was calling push top, push top, and two of them didn't. Oh yeah, so. I mean, you get 30 seconds right now where you guys can find a combo. This is probably a kill. If you just judgment onto Gul'dan, like, it can be the end of the game. Or judgment onto this, the dragon. Like that. If there's any follow-up damage, if there's a rain of vengeance on top of it, she dies. No way, yeah. really. And eh? then they, and then they realize, I think, that they were should have been at the top and that but they come up too late and then so i say we should go to the camp but i meant the top camp and but everyone ran to this one and then bad things happen so specify let's go to top camp let's go to their camp yeah. let's go to bot camp let's go to our camp that's always the yeah. kind of lingo you can use to just never screw that up their camp our camp top and bottom way better jugs this guy's just sitting on the point still doing you guys gotta get kills alt this oh he's got horrify he already he doesn't have his ult what happened to it i didn't even notice he must have like just used it on that fight it's close i overstay here i think trying to get ETC out, and I shouldn't have. Rogue Traits, you're saying, I don't like how Kala talks like we should all know these teeny tiny macro and micro situations when no one really knows how to play MOBAs. Can you explain? Like, is there something I've said that you think is wrong? As will my 
Um, so for yourself, ability usage, like it's hard to say with Lily. You know, she's a very spammy hero. It's hard for me to critique. Oh, you should have used this here or saved this for that. Um, but the only critique I have is your. You, you got to use jugs a little bit earlier, more proactively. Um, big thing is auto attacking, always, 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 and um, and your positioning. You have to work on it. Play a little bit more defensive. If you're wanting to make an invade, just tell your teammates. And if they don't go in, you can't go in. So think of your front line as like a rule for yourself. If they're not in, then you're not allowed to be there. Because if you're the one face checking a lot of these times, like you can just die, especially in high volatile situations like this where they're all missing off the map and you think they're going to be up here. Uh, stuff like that will just, it, it can basically lose you games. Because you guys were in a position where you could probably have won I the game. I, I thought we could have won the game yeah. and then we didn't. And then we lost and I was like, I guess what I was wondering is, was it my calls, my choices that led us to lose the game? Do you know what I mean? Mm. Or is it more of a combination of various things? Um, I, the only big call that was bad was to go for bottom camp instead of your own camp to start the game. And then obviously when you guys were fighting here, instead of just stalling when Jaina died or defending when Jaina died, those were like the two big problems early game that i don't know if you had much influence on but that could have been different but okay. aside from that i'm telling you if you just work on your auto attacking and your positioning it's going to it's going to do a lot for your rank okay cool that's yeah i've been practicing stutter stepping and things like that in try mode um which has been helping a lot um Excellent. But and that's something that'll take I you a know. long time. I always, I, always ex I always expect it's going to be like, okay, well, I've been practicing for a day. I should be better now. And then it's not better <laughs> now. So I just do it every day. It, it'll, it'll be one of those things where like a couple months down the road, you'll just realize how simple it is for you now. And you'll just be like, ah, that practice actually uh, was paying off a lot. Um, yeah. Yeah. That's all. Um, but good game. Thank you for joining. I really appreciate it. And thank you for rescheduling. Because, um, yeah, well, that's okay. Community Coaching Day was Canada Day. That's okay. And thanks for, you know, um, doing this at kind of a friendly New Zealand time zone sort of thing. It was fun. Uh, and now, thank you. now who do we have up next? You got, you got to give us a, give us the pre 